how to fulfill orders on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with order fulfillment on Shopify. May it be a drop shipped order or a regular order for your products. So let's get into it. Now, first off, I have placed two sample orders by myself to show you guys the different fulfillment processes of either a regular order or a drop shipped order. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing we need to understand is what would be the difference between a fulfillment on a regular order versus a order that is being fulfilled by a third party supplier, such as CJ Dropshipping. I'm going to use that as an example today. So first off, if I go into a regular order, so this is my regular order. This is a order that has been placed for a item that I'm selling on my own, where I have my own shipping info. I have to, you know, do that all on my own. So first off below that, you will see a timeline of your entire order. So when they place their order, a confirmation, the payment, and let's say that I want to send them an invoice, I can do that. Or this is a cash on delivery order. So I can receive the payment via my courier services that I might be partnering with. Now on the top right, you also have the option to restock as well as edit orders. So if a customer later on comes to you and says, hey, maybe I want to get this product as well, then if you're offering those options, you can ask them to customize your order and you can customize that as well then on the top you also have actions such as duplicating orders packaging slips which are very important and we'll get to that in a second now one other thing to note whenever you're fulfilling orders is the fraud analysis on the bottom right and you will get a recommendation there is a low chance that you will receive a chargeback on this order and it says fulfill order so let's say i mark this order as a paid order once I do that, I can click on fulfill item. And even if it's not marked as paid, you can still click on fulfill item. Once you click on fulfill item, you have to enter the tracking number and the shipping carrier. So whatever carrier that you are using, you're going to insert that over here. And then if your carrier is not listed within any of these companies, you have to enter the tracking URL of your particular website of that tracking company. Below that, you can choose to notify the customer of your fulfillment. Now on the top right, you can click on print packing slip and it will generate a packing slip for you. So this is what you're going to just print out and send to your customer. When you package a label, this is what is printed out and pasted on the front of your packaging label. It's a pretty recognizable theme. And once you print your packing slip, you have the shipping address, you have all of that info. Just click on fulfill items on the top right and then your items will be fulfilled. Now, once your fulfillment is complete, you can see on the top right, you still have options for refunds and returns. So in case you ever have a item that is refunded or returned. Now, this is a very simple process when you're doing this on your own products. However, fulfillment on a dropship product is different. So if you take a look at my Shopify store over here, I have this product, which I have used to do dropshipping to import this product. So this is the cat car toy and I'm using CG dropshipping to import that product. Now, to be able to fulfill this order, I have to go through a different process. So what I'm going to do is I have the option to click on request fulfillment. And then once you click on request fulfillment, you're actually sending a note to the CJ dropshipping supplier and you can click on print packing slip, but because printing or packaging is not your business, you don't have to do any of that. Usually you can click on print packing slip and you want to send this to your suppliers. So if you send this to your suppliers, it, they follow the same packing format as your regular orders. And it can just look a whole lot more cohesive when you have the same packaging label. Once you do that, you can click on send fulfillment request. Now, once you send your fulfillment request, you're going to hear back from CJ Dropshipping. So if I go into my store orders on the left, you will be able to see you have the CJ dropshipping item and then you can click on select over here and choose the type of shipping method available and then click on add to orders picking like this. And now after that, once everything has been completed, you guys will see that your particular product will be added into orders picking. 
Now, once you do that, you can go on ahead and click on this order or click on all of your orders and go on ahead and you can update packaging. You can update any shipping methods as well as combine or you know, move items. And then you're going to click on submit and the total amount will be submitted. So this is what is going to be deducted from your Shopify store. Whatever type of store payment method you are using, the amount will be deducted from there. And once the amount is deducted, your order will begin the actual fulfillment process. So once you have the order imported, then you have your order added in the order picking. So that means, you know, it's not a fake order. And then after that, you can click on submit and you will see the referenced amount. This might be, it may change, you know, slightly by a couple of dollars, only one or two dollars, depending on the order information change, the shipping warehouse change, or the private inventory deduction. And once you click on submit over here, your order fulfillment from your part will be completed. After this, CJ Dropshipping will send this product to your customer. Now, your payment is going to be cut from you. So if you are sending out cash on delivery items, that means that the cash that the courier will receive will be sent to you. And that's how you're supposed to set it up. Usually for dropship products, I don't recommend that you use cash on delivery options. For most of the time, people don't prefer those and they mostly do prefer paying with credit. And once they pay with credit, it's transferred to your amount and then you can transfer it to your suppliers to fulfill their orders. Now, what happens if the product is marked as fulfilled? So if teacher dropshipping says the order was fulfilled, but in reality, your customer says, hey, I never received this order. Well, you will see in their policies over here that CJ will deal with your dispute for any delayed orders after 100 days counting from the date of order to the departed date from their CJ warehouse. So let's say a customer ordered on the first of the month and then five months later, they tell you that their order never came. Then CJ won't do anything and you're really just going to lose money and you'll have to refund your customer on your own behalf. Secondly, if you, the customer places their order and within the next 100 days, they tell you that they never got their order and CJ Dropshipping has marked it as departed from their warehouse. Then in that particular situation, you would be able to dispute with CJ Dropshipping and they will dispute with your suppliers on the product fulfillment. And if the product has been known to not be fulfilled by that supplier, you will get your refund and you can send that refund over to your customers as well. So in this way, you can complete order fulfillment on a drop shipped order. Now, this is specifically for CG drop shipping. For certain other tools, your drop shipping methodology may vary. However, for the most part, it's pretty much the same. And after that, you will see that you have a couple of different orders and you also have order picking. And after order picking, you can also automate that. So it automatically takes all of your orders and fulfills them directly. And you can go on ahead and go into your app settings. So if you go into the settings in CJ Dropshipping, you would be able to be fulfilling orders directly instead of having to do it manually. You can automate that process as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.